Okay, so let's do this. I was asked yesterday to try to explain the holder and the windage and the scopes in the game while you have to aim yourself. So, so let's try to do that. Um, obviously, the three main parts of actually hitting something is knowing one A or part one, knowing how far it is, part two, setting your scope to the right distance, part three, knowing what the wind is doing. So let's have a look at that. And the and the first part of success is actually being ready, prepared. So you can choose your character here. I just have it on the standard guy because I think everyone else looks stupid. Let's go into the setup. You can go into player loadout on the main screen, but you could choose your loadout here. And so I'm using the Mosin, and you can see in these pure sniper modes, hello, where you aim yourself in multiplayer. There's no secondary weapons, and there's no other things. In normal mode and in hardcore, you can edit these uh, this skill tree. I haven't really fiddled with it a lot. Because when you play in pure sniper mode, it doesn't affect. But you can see the rank up here. 5, 10, 15, 20. And all of these ranks correspond to another skill you earn. And like I said, I haven't really fiddled with this so much. So I can 100% sure tell you what's what. But... The thing I have found is that having three of something, this last skill, having three of something is important when you need mines or something. And I don't know how much these heart rate, I haven't tested that scientifically, of how much that helps. But if you're playing multiplayer, you're not really searching, right? So having a target focus, being able to focus people faster would be better. When you're playing multiplayer, then you're not really falling that much. So a bandage would be better. When you're playing multiplayer, you don't really... Sometimes you do... Um, you go up to an enemy mine. But this is important because um, you actually do have things that blow up in multiplayer. You have barrels and boxes and people can throw things at you, right? So this is important. If you reduce damage by 50%, that's important if you do that in multiplayer, right? Then there's the heart rate thing. You just pick one that suits you, either um, either you want um, a slower heart rate climb or that your heart rate drops faster. Then you get more ammo and then there's the, the golden one. You get three of something instead of just having two. But in pure sniper mode, you only have two. So that's that. You simply pick whatever you like in your setup, and then that's fine. But when you're playing these pure sniper modes, the last two, even in in cam campaign mode, it doesn't add up. So you can't use this skill tree, or at least it's, it says so. And I've think they're right because you can't get three of something um, 
as a loadout. You only have two when you start playing. Then there's the uh, the reticle in your scope. It's called the reticle. And I just use this fine crosshair because that's what I do. There's several others in the old version before the patch. You were stuck with the default um, reticle of your scope. Some had, the Mosin had this one. Some of the German rifles had that one. And then there's some other ones, right? Special, I haven't really used all these scopes. I don't really know what they do. Or these reticles. I don't really know what they do. I use this one. Fine crosses in this game. I use the white duplex in the old game, version 3. But I was asked to f explain what this tactical reticle does. Because apparently it mixes people up. So you go into this loadout, you have four slots, you can see them. Why we don't have more, I don't know. It's, uh, it's com completely stupid that we can't have like five or ten. So you can have a setup for playing no cross, a setup for playing deathmatch. You can have a setup for playing deathmatch on pure sniper, deathmatch on normal, whatever, right? Let's just pick one. This makes... Well, this is obvious. You just pick your rifle, right? And when you pick your rifle, you can actually see that you can do more to your rifles. It sets skins and upgrades. And that's important in the, um, in the normal modes or... Uh, hardcore modes. So you can press skins, right? And then you can uh, customize however your your gun looks, right? So there's what is this? That's mastery skin. That's when you master your rifle, you get a golden gun, and then you look like an absolute prat running around with a golden gun, right? That's why the James Bond movie is called The Man with the Golden Gun, and he looks like a prat, right? He's actually a pretty good, cool guy, that villain guy, right? But, um, but you look like a prat running around with that gun, so never do that. That would make you look stupid. Then there's all of these skins that you can buy. Night camouflage and winter and whatnot. The, the important stuff comes here when you press R1. That's the upgrade. So you can see here you need, in order to upgrade the, um, the speed at which the bullet flies, right? Uh, you need to do um, 10 Kilometers total kill distance, meaning you have to shoot people um, and that total range, right? So if you have if you have an average of a uh, uh, hundred meters shots, right? Then you need a hundred kills, right? 100 kills that makes your 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 speed of your bullet go up if you get 25 um, kills where you either shoot a truck or a box or a barrel and kill someone then you get a higher zoom but that doesn't apply in pure sniper mode and when you get 10 liver shots you get um, a more stable gun. And um, when you get your mastery skin, it's 10 double kills, right? 
But you can do all of this in campaign mode and you don't have to do it in the most difficult mode. You can just pick the, the easiest one and then get it over within five minutes, right? But please, don't ever, never pick that golden gun because then you are prat. Complete utter prat, right? So let's move on. You can see the, the difference between the guns right here, right? You see the difference in zoom. The Springfield's got less maximum zoom than the Mosin. It's got... It's less stable. So on and so forth, right? This Lienfield has a slightly higher firing rate than the Mosin. And then you just have to judge what you want from your rifle, right? When I'm playing pure sniper, I want a rifle that shoots straight because that's important. Um, the more windage you have, like the more you have to push the scope to the side, the harder it is, especially in multiplayer, to hit something, right? To judge, like, and especially if it's not linear, like if you can't, if it's if it's not the same distance, holdover distance at a hundred meters, or two hundred, or three hundred, then it gets difficult. And most of these rifles aren't linear. Their their uh, scope, uh, their scoping, the the windish isn't linear. Always linear. The three rifles with the most linear um, windage is that I have tried is this the forty three. The Springfield is surprisingly linear to 200. It's exactly uh, the holdover distance at 200 meters. It's half the holdover distance at 100 meters. When you're using silence ammo, using the Springfield, it's linear to 100 meters, so meaning the holdover distance is exactly one to one at 100 meters using silence ammo. And then it's linear, but the drop off is quite big after 200. Um, I don't know why, but the motion for me, the motion and the 43 is the two most powerful guns, um, two best guns in the game. The, um, the M1 I've started to use the M1, and that's really, really good. Because in pure sniper, it's got um, instead of just uh, 8x zoom, it's got 12 in the multiplayer version. But it's it only got um, 4x in the uh, campaign, so really doesn't matter. I think the 43 is uh, a better gun to use. In, in campaign if you're really good at headshots but the uh, M1 is better it's more powerful um, in campaign mode if you want to use that if you want to semi auto rifle the carbine the M1 carbine is garbage in in pure sniper mode because it uses a smaller caliber bullet and apparently um, they have made it such that a smaller caliber bullet uh, is affected more by wind than a larger bullet even though the speed of the bullet is um, quite fast as you can see the, um, the small caliber makes it very um, makes the wind affect it a lot so let's let's try to pick the gun and then pick the scope that I was asked to to look at 
So you're going to yell up your setup and then pick the setup that you want. And right now it really doesn't matter. So all I need is just the gun and silence that So let's do that. Let's have a look see. Okay, so the first part this first part is just a private game to show people how that scope works. I haven't actually tried that scope. So So this could be interesting. I've been tried this scope before and I'm just right now just getting some ammo. There's ammo up this tower. I never go up this tower because it's made of wood and you can shoot right through it. You see the sides are made of, made of wood. Don't go up here when you're playing multiplayer. If you get tagged you're dead. Even if you are below the edge. Let's just tag all of these things so we have something to reference and something to shoot at, right? Okay. Then let's go to the to the hangar roof and see what's what with the scope. Like I said, I'm just getting ammo right now. Okay. I'm getting to the um, campaign part in just a second. I just have to figure this code out. Because I was asked uh, to explain how it works. So you can see there's 180 meters down there. That explains yourself. There's 2,000 over there, right? Okay, I see. So, the scope looks like this. There's a lot of lines. That makes absolutely no sense, right? And there's no manual to tell you what's what. And I never used this, this, this type of reticle. So, I don't really know what these lines do, but let's see if we can figure that out. If this is only 4x soon so let's assume yeah let's assume this is a hundred meters that's a hundred meters great so first of all it's the scope isn't linear in windage that's a mistake you can see the the windage mark the horizontal line doesn't move. The vertical line moves up and down, right? But I don't know what these thingamajigs does. So let's set the scope at 100, uh, zero meters. We know this is 100 meters. There's 100 meters down to this box. Let's see what it does. It shoots low, okay? It shoots two lines low meaning each line must be 50 meters right that's zoomed all the way in so let's hope it's linear and that these lines are linear and it actually works so the scope is set to 100 meters let's set it to zero then and it, if Two, if it shoots low at 200 or 100 by two lines, then each line must, must be 50 meters, right? That makes sense. But there's all these all kinds of lines and they don't really make sense. But let's see what, what. This is, this should it hit right at, the, right at the line. And it does. So each line is 50 meters, right? So if you have a hard time shooting 150 meters, just put your scope. Right. That light is about 150 meters away. So if you have a hard time hitting that 
light on a guy at 150 meters, then you can use the scope and just, you know, use the first reference line that's 150 and then choose how much wind you want and then boom, you hit the light, right? You hit the light again. You can see there, hit the light right on. Let's try to hit the bulb, okay? I hit the bulb, okay? Fine. So each line is 50 meters. So to the first 50, so this is 100, this is 150, this is 200, this is up really 250, 300, right? Let's see what's what with this. 250. Let's see if this actually works, okay? Let's not hit the tank. Let's try to hit the tires. So, 250, it says right there. Let's try to hit the tires. Let's pick a hold over. Pick a spot. Okay, it blew out the tires. So it actually works, sort of works, right? Let's pick the back tire. It works. Let's pick the front left tire. 250. The hold over. Shooting a little bit higher. It works. Okay. So if you have a lot of shots at 150 or 250, then you can use this. But my main concern with this is that the windage holdover is not linear. So when you move out, you zoom in, right? Then you kind of actually judge how much that is. But when you use a gun, then you know that at 200 it's linear, right? So that would be probably right there, right? Yeah, I hit the light. Let's try the wind shifting. I hit the light bulb 200, no problem. Let's hit the, that crane thing, okay? First shot. I hit the crane first shot. That's 200. That's nothing. You should be able to do that without all of these lines. It's it's just making you... My biggest problem is that there's no um, vertical line up. Because let's say you're shooting at 180. Then you would have to do that. Something like this. Put it at 100 and then start aiming up. That makes no sense. Instead of putting it at 200, then just shooting slightly low, right? That would make sense. But there's no vertical line up. That would be nice if there were a vertical line up, but there's not. So... But that's the scope, right? Each line is 50 meters. You always, always zero your scope. If you know that you're shooting at 100, then put it at 100. Only absolute noob, noob faces would not do that because it's important that you know exactly where you're going to shoot, right? Okay, so that was the scope. Each line was 50 meters. There's no manual, so you can't read this. You have to figure it out. And I figured that out. So you go into your loadout. Then you pick the... Um, um, the zoom and the... the um, yeah, the loadout that picks, that suits you. I just use this fine process. So. But maybe, maybe we should, maybe I should try to see if it makes any difference. Yeah, I could do that. 
Let's see if it makes any difference. If it makes me better or worse. I don't know. I can hit plenty fine with the other one. With this fine crosshairs. Other one, right? Let's, let's, for the sake of this argument, or this demo, try to use this tactical one. You pick your rifle, and then you pick your loadout. Your loadout is actually important. So, I've used this for some... It's a multiplayer thing. So when you're playing this... Um, then you need as much defense as you can. And that is these mines. Then you need some health and you... Of course you need as much health as possible. So you pick the big health, and then you need one silence rifle. That's what you need for this episode. That's your loadout. It's back. Yes, so let's play. Let's try to do this. The last one I had, that was um, episode I uh, did that was um, that was the first since um, the the ep the episode one. So let's pick episode two now. Bit new village on authentic plus. Okay. Now I'm using a new post that was pretty bad. Of me, but let's let's try to do this. I think I have this down, <laughs> but let's see. I might just fuck this up. One name kept coming up. Okay, you you skip over all of these cutscenes. Some of them are pretty good. You go up to the radio. Then you hear what she has to say and pick all up the ammo up. Then you go over to the guy. Talk with the guy. I don't need to hear the guy. And he actually doesn't tell you what you need to do. He just like mumbles something. But then you can look at the map. Usually you can look at the map and then see what's what. But in these pure sniper modes you can't. You have to know where to go and what to do. So. Then you skip the cutscene. When you go somewhere, you always zero your scope to 100 meters, right? That's him. Better see if I can locate the prize in right. HQ. And... Then you see you have silenced ammo in your gun. That's important. Then you just double tap. You use this uh, this wheel to pick your things, or you use the the the, the four buttons on the left side to actually pick what you need you can if you use a lot of mines you can actually put your mines down here i usually don't i just pick the rock so i can change between guns fast right okay everyone got this right so this guy there That's it. Then there's a guy up here. You can simply do this. Okay. Then you need to make a defense, right? Like they say in American football. Defense win games, right? Since we want to win, since you're a winner, right? So then 
we have to play good defense. And in these modes, these pure sniper modes, or authentic and authentic plus, they are mad. It's like you really kick them in the balls. They are mad. Right? Then you click it off the silenced ammo because you really need that silenced ammo laser. Right? So there's more silenced ammo for your rifle here. There's a mine, there's a grenade, and there's a bandage. Right? Great. You can see there's a guy up here. You need to kill him. And there's several guys over there. So we have 10 rounds now. 10 rounds to make this count. There's some guys over here. There's the guy up there. There's the guy up there. Okay, so you need to make these counts, these rounds count. And this is absolute garbage. I don't know why I, I would ever pick this gun. Because I have no fucking clue what this is what this is doing now. But since e each line was 50, so that must be 150. I, I think. I don't know. I haven't used it in, in this mode before. It really doesn't matter. Let's just try and wing it. Okay. Let's kill that guy. So... You're shooting at 80 meters. You can see the wind right here. It's coming from the right, so you have to aim a little bit right. Okay. Let's go live. Take the officer. How far is the officer? 70. Okay. This uh, silenced ammo actually shoots uh, high. Actually, you have more of an arch to it. So when he's closer, you have to actually aim lower. Alright. So let's see. He's standing next to a box. Let's see if we can hit it with a gun. We could. Uh, we don't want to waste ammo if we don't have to. There's two guys over there. They haven't figured anything out. There's a guy up there. Still. And there's a guy on top. He hasn't got a clue. So let's see. There's a crazy amount of sidewind. He's shooting... Hit him. That was crazy. Did you see how much he, f he moved? He f like sprung left. Okay, good. Yeah. So we have already made our defense. If anyone has come running over here, they will hit mines, right? 80 meters. Whoops, there's a gas can right there. Sit German Jerry cans, yeah. Now he walks off. Let's see what our friends are doing. 93 meters. Okay. I could rush through this and just kill them, boom, boom, boom. But I'm trying. To show you that sniping is possible. Right? Okay. You can actually hear the boat that's sailing out there. We need to deal with that later. So how much ammo do we have? Five shots. 
it's important to keep track of your ammo or you will probably die let's see if we can 95 meters let's see if we can headshot that guy he's pretty skittish let's see boom we hit him now he's dead okay that was clearing out most of them there's a couple of guys left there nearly out of bullets. he's dead yeah i'm nearly out of bullets thank you carl for saying that but i'm only out of bullets for silence demo right i have two shots left but the observant viewer would know that there's silenced ammo over here. Right. So now we have another mine, a bandage, and some silenced ammo. Thank you very much. So that must, you can shoot that eagle thing. So that was the, um, that was most of the that was most of the soldiers in this village, or in the harbour. Dealt and done with, but there will come a lot of soldiers out, not open. Right? So let's see... No, let's just take the gas can, it looks so funny. <laughs> yeah, okay. So. There's two main openings. There's that one and that one. See? A guy came. Right? 94 meters. We can hit him easily, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's squeeze some lemon on him. Right? Just wait until he pops up. I could probably head headshot him now. But I don't feel like doing that because he's running. I don't want to waste this ammo. This is um, this is my precious, right? Ninety-one. And then he starts walking. My timing is off today. I have to talk. I have to play with this small screen. I'm not playing in 1080. I complain a lot, right? 95 anyone should hit a 95 meter shot instantly hit him right i hit him now you don't always kill them one shot even at 100 meters because the wind changes and yeah, it's not a one-shot kill, always, right? But, you have to be ready with the follow-up shot. Then you have to look at the side wind, crazy side wind from the right. And since you don't have a, a kill message, you have to judge if he actually died, and he did. So, let's go and see what's what with that boat and the boat is out here and there's a sniper out here as well that sniper is dangerous right he's right up there there's the sniper so put your scope at 200 you must win you got and kill him i hit him Okay, I only hit him three times now. How the fuck is he alive? Four times a charm. 207. That boat is stupid. Damn boat's going to make it a beach tricky. See, you just shoot the red parts of the boat. I'm sorry, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm that fast, so I... I, I I can't uh, stop and like 
show you everything. So you have to follow along. He's about 120, right? So that was that was 100. He didn't die. Doesn't matter. Now he's dead, right? You know there's a guy over there. Is he valuable? No, he's just got ammo. See, you have to rep find out who's valuable for you. Like, who's got ammo? Who's got mines? Who's got health? And whatnot. I grabbed everything useful. You have to go search the people that are valuable. So this is not a blast run through. This is not Fast and Furious 5. I'm just showing you what's possible, right? Let's go and see what that officer had. It's got pistol ammo. Don't really need pistol ammo, but let's Nothing take else. it in I anyway, right? Okay. So, I know from playing this that the moment you move up here, there will be a truck coming down the road. There's a guy at 146. Right, no problem. The aim is to stop the car as fast as possible. Make a good defense right here. And then wait for the car to come. See, there's a truck coming right now. The sooner you stop the car with the truck. Whoops, did you hear that guy? Cheeky little bastard. The sooner you stop the truck, the better it is, right? And always shoot, always shoot at the um, the gas tank, the, ju the gas tank. Then the thing will blow up and kill the soldiers. No more to find here. The more soldiers you, you kill at distance, the less of a danger they are to you. Right? That makes perfect sense. Okay, was that the officer? The key to having a good defense is they could come like a hundred people now. Doesn't matter because I have my mines, mines out and yeah, there's an officer coming like that. He's not dangerous. I really don't want him to go through a mine yeah, because mines are valuable. The mines are more valuable than bullets. So if you can stop them before they reach your mines. Can't find anything else. That is golden, right? So we noticed there was a guy at a hundred and fifty or something, right? Down there. And it's important to establish a kill zone. A killing field, so to speak. You don't want him going through your mines, but you wanna don't want to stand too close to mine because they, it can blow up and kill you, right? So you want to establish a, a, a killing field, like a corridor where you can just blast them, right? See, that's the importance of having of having really good defense, right? He was that guy. Got TNT. TNT. It's dynamite. You know, the, the song. ACDC. Right. See, 
there's a lot of guys down there and it's important to establish a killing field like a zone where you know the distance and you have a shot of them even if they're coming running 10 guys doesn't really matter you got this locked down you have a defense you have a killing field you have everything that matters right Then you reload. Is he valuable? No, he says got ammo. One sixty. Dead. Whoa ho ho. The importance of having a good defense. Right. Usually, I, I press up further. Faster than this. And I usually go up and this establish a safe zone up here. That's further up. And the further up you can press your safe zone, the more valuable it is. See? It just ran into a mine. That's why I say that mines are valuable, right? You can only carry... You can only carry um, like two, two of each mine, right? Let's, let's... Okay, let's let him bleed out. And let's focus on the sniping game again. I'm a little bit put off by the scope. Did you hear him die? I'm a little bit put off by this um, this thing. Right. But no problem. I got this. There's this guy. Let's see if we can just shoot him up there. So you don't want to waste your ammo, so you can simply double tap the button you have assigned for your ammo or your gun. Grabbed all I can. And when you have done that, it will change from silenced ammo if you have some from silos ammo back to a uh, regular ammo, right? if you have that. Machine gun, machine gun ammo. I don't need machine gun ammo. I have 120. You can't carry more in this gun. So let's go, let's push up further. Rifle 32. Whoa, -ho -ho. that wasn't nice. 
right? That wasn't nice of him. Now, I was uh, searching his body, and he clearly didn't like that. So. That's fine. But because he wasn't being nice to me, then I have to kill him now. We could have been friends. We could have been friends, dude. But since you have to go and shoot at me, then... See, that's how fast I shoot them. And it, it's, it's not really, um, it doesn't make for a good video when you shoot them that fast. But that was a headshot, just re... Just boom, right? It doesn't really make for really good content when you shoot them that fast. Because you, you barely saw him. Nothing else to find. And so... But, never mind. That was just a quick headshot. Oh. I meant to actually search this guy. Wow. Whoa! Shit! Ah! I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Holy shit. That was pretty close. That was pretty damn close. That's my defense, defense, defense. Now they will be coming down the beach and that's um that's great. So did you see I was locked into the animation when I was trying to search that guy? I got locked into the animation of that stupid generator. And then I noticed Um, the guy's coming and I couldn't get out of that animation. That was pretty stupid. But that's what they have picked. You can't really change that. There they are. That was a double kill. More kill. I'm not really worried because they are a hundred meters away. That cheeky little bastard revived his buddy. Now you're there. Did you see that? That was my double kill he took away. That cheeky little bastard. So now he's dead. Great. Are there more coming? I don't know. Usually I don't play um, like this. I press up further and establish a killing field. Wow. And the devs with this new uh, thing have actually put uh, made it easier. Because these soldiers are coming from like half the map away. So they have been alarmed by other soldiers. And now just come running up right from half the map away. So now we have cleared half the map. That's pretty stupid. There's no other people. There's pretty much no other soldiers further so I'm sorry for that he 
Is she valuable? No. Okay. Let's take our defense with us. This could be handy. And uh, let's push up further. I had another had another mine somewhere. Yeah. This will come in very useful. Now, I could have died several times there, right? I was pretty close. But I didn't. So I killed the sniper, that was 200, man. Usually there's some soldiers up by, um, by him. That was the place I got stuck before when they came running, man. They're actually valuable, these two. Or one guy, so he's got a bandage, right? But I can't, can't get to him. Nothing else. Uh, I can't get to his duty bandage because he's on the generator and it's blocking me from. from actually going there. So I have 26 shots left. That's fine. We will go to an armory later where there's plenty of, sh of um, pl plenty of ammo. What I'm just trying to show you is just some of the long range sniping you can do on this map. Anyone can run up to them and kill them at 20 meters, right? That's um, that's uh, that's obvious. But since this is called Sniper Elite, right, then you at least try to just try to snipe, right? So that's what we did. Somewhat. 200. For, for me, actually, 200 is, is, doesn't count as sniper. Really. Guess I sort of pointless because it's, it's not far away for me. Even at six times soon. You saw the sniper. I hit him first shot. Boom. He didn't go down first shot, but I hit him. And I keep hitting. I hit him three or four times. That's pretty stupid that you have to hit someone four times. Right. If I hit you with a sniper rifle once, I'm pretty sure you're going to feel that in the morning. You're going to have a bad day. Right. You can only carry 50 shots, so it doesn't really matter. Since you're down here, place a mine right here in the entrance. The HQ is just over there. I'm not going there right now, but the HQ is over there. Usually I go up here pretty fast and establish a killing field down this corridor. It's perfect because they will just come running down. Right? Then you can go up here, place a mine, a trip mine over this thing, so you don't get ambushed from the back. Go up here. Sound mask this so they won't hear it. And then start sniping. Right. Someone down there. Found out how far he is. 
hundred meters. Not very far, but he's hiding behind the wall. Some over there. 145. Let's see if this scope is any good. That was 150. Dead on. So it's actually valuable for something. I don't. I don't. Still think it's a gimmick. Those lines. That you should be able to snipe. Without that shit. Without all of those lines and all that shit. Now he's blowing his his thing. Right. Good. Good. He has to stop whistling. Stop whistling. Good. I will kill you. Okay, sorry, I killed him. You have to take out the radio guy. That's part of the um, the whatnot, the optional things you can do. Right. You have to find the radio guy. That's the radio guy. It's normally in a radio tower when you play. But since we have alarmed the entire map, right, then the radio guy is not where the radio guy should be. That's a bit of a shame. But we have to go over there, get the sniper, get his, his sniper fired. So we have cleared out most of the map. That's pretty, um, pretty meaningless. 250. Two fifty. Steer a rifle, 200. Oh, 250. Second shot. So it is, th this scope is valuable for something. If you have a hard time finding out where 250 is, then it is valuable for something, right? I don't need that line. It's, it's annoying to me, but um, it may be valuable to you. Another guy, 250. Have to um, find out the windage if your rifle is is linear. Like if the holdover at 200 is the same as the wind gauge on the top of your rifle shows you. Right? You can barely see that guy. 200. It's not far from me. Right? Maybe far from you. Not far from me. Is that a kill? He's wounded, right? There's a lot of sun reading there. A lot of sun. Hit. It's a stupid amount of sun in there. Obviously, it's, it's more than one. Right? Oh, did you see that running shot? Right in the back, 200. Right? 200, running shot, right in the back, reaction shot. That's actually the, the best way I snipe, it's just reacting. Instead of, you know, calculating. You have to use the second line uh, from your chart, and you hold over there where this one. And you have to use your formula to calculate. No, just, uh, just react. Don't think about it so much, just react, okay? So you take your defense with you. You leave that other down the um, down the gate because it's placed really good. But you take the other with you because they are valuable. If you have ten guys that come storming at you, I'm pretty sure you want some mines. So. Now you go over to the someone shot at me. Wasn't very nice. He's going to get a stern talking to. Me. Wasn't very nice. Okay. 
here at Casa Panza. We um, he's throwing a grenade. Cool. His buddy is hiding in the bush. He's hacking the bush. Anyone knows where Hack in the Bush comes from? Anyone? So you have to kill him before he reaches your mine. Because your mine is valuable. Right? One mine is more valuable than one bullet. Right? So this is a game of uh, efficiency, right? One mine more valuable than one bullet. So defend your mine with a bullet if you can. So you go up here and you try to enter the sniper's nets. Now, this would be difficult if you had like 10 guys standing there and the sniper. So you have to search the sniper. His sniper diary. That's one of the um, optional things you can do. You can look out this window and look up this uh, this killing field. You can create a killing field right here, and you can look at the top up at the top. Now we have cleaned out all these soldiers, basically, but that's two ten. It's not really that far. Right. You just boom. If there's anyone standing up there, you would wait until they reach that point and then shoot at the box instead, right? Okay, so we're still missing the radio guy, right? So the radio gaga guy. He is MIA. That was an optional thing. Find the radio guy. It's usually up in that radio tower, close to or in that radio tower. 226, that would be halfway to the first one, right? Oh, hit him first time. That was pretty good hitting first time, right? I have to admit that. I have to admit, hit him in 226 first time. Was pretty good in that amount of time. That was pretty good. I'm not saying that I'm the best. I'm just saying that was pretty good in that amount of time. You can do as well as I can. Right? Always then click your scope back to 100 when you have left a a a point or left a spot a, where you know it's 200. And you're shooting a 200. Now you can come up against anything, right? And then you need to be able to go back to your setup that you know. And my setup is 100 meters, right? I'm not used to this reticle that's in the scope. There's a lot of lines. I think they are annoying as fuck. But, deal with it. Have a cookie, deal with it, okay? Let's see if he's valuable. Is he valuable? He's got a bandage, that's valuable. Can't find anything else. If he's not valuable, fuck him, all right? But, remember where they are. Like, if you shoot an officer, and he's got something you need. Remember where he's sort of out, right? So he's got a med kit. He's valuable. Med kit means life. Med kit means you can you don't die, right? It should be obvious. If you're playing like I am, where I finished the game without dying. Um, then you actually need help, right? Some people don't care about if they die, but on these 
in this mode, if you die, you have to start over, right? So, I'm short a radio guy. Kind of makes me sad. Let's see if they're valuable. You're not valuable. Fuck you. Okay. Not valuable. So, you can't sit here and... Scan somewhere. the guys. The operator must be around somewhere. Yeah. Now you just heard the, the voice say the operator must be around there. And that's the radio guy. We need the radio guy. You can see he's a radio guy because he's carrying a radio. He's usually surrounded by two or three um, guards. And he's up there by the uh, radio tower. But since we kind of pissed off half the map, then they have moved. I don't know where to, because I kind of you know, fudged the thing. So you can do this much faster. Just attack the... Um, the HQ armory as fast as possible and then go up to the to that um, to, to the castle and you can kill them a, a lot faster just by running forward right be careful of these gas cans, they can blow up. They will miss you, but hit the gas can and kill you. That's the stupid part of this game. Right? Stick grenade. Yes, please. That was a guy I hit at 250. 250 isn't long for me, but... It's one of the longer shots on this map. You don't get that much don't get that much distance. Right? Also you have to take care that that they don't stand behind something like the truck and then shoot you and then miss you but hit the truck and the truck blows up and that ruins your game, right? That would be pretty stupid. This is a box you can search. I don't need to search it. Because I have a lot of stuff, right? Always sound mask the shit by kicking me. There's an ammo box. Be careful that they're not here. Because if they shoot you, right? If they shoot you, the box will blow up. Where did our friend, the radio guy, go? You can lure them in by throwing rocks. It's surprising how well a rock works. Or you can whistle. They will just come running. You change that by tapping the lower button twice. See, I tapped it twice. Now I'm whistling. Now I'm throwing a rock. Then you can make them go to where the rock lands. Right. Be careful of those boxes. They will blow up and kill you. If you're playing with me, and you will have to start over. Imagine if you are at the last episode and you needed ammo or something. And you ran over to that box and someone missed you but hit the box and then you died. That would be pretty stupid. And you have to start all over again. Imagine that. That would really suck. 
Some people don't care, but I care. Some people are not talented. Now, where's that fucking radio operator guy? Better deal with the radio operator. He's right there. He goes telling tales to his friends. Over and out, my friend. Over and out. You don't need to search him. He's got nothing. Uh, he's got nothing you need other than you know. Then we need to search the graveyard, find the HQ. So the graveyard is up by the church, right? And the HQ is in the middle of town. So. If you're short on ammo and short on mines and life and health and whatnot, you can go to the um, the HQ in the beginning. Right. But since I have a lot of health and I don't really need this, then If you haven't killed all the all of, of of that of all of those guys, then you actually need. To oh, I hit the railing! Did she not? Boom! Right in front of me. Then the partisans will start um, fighting with the Germans up there when you enter the town. So you have to enter the HQ. And when you enter the HQ, you can pick up the trench gun. That's pretty powerful, but it's really, really close. You have to get really, really close. So I think it's pointless unless you are like really, really, really close. And you need to be that close. This um, FNAP guy, this FNAP gun is more is the best um, secondary weapon you have, I think. So they have started shooting like crazy, and that's fine. You actually don't have to, to join in. They will start killing Germans for you. They're the partisans. But you have to create a good defense, right? The defense makes champions. That's what they say in American football. So, create a defense. Right. Create a defense right here. So, you don't get a nasty surprise. You don't want that, right? Just like if your girlfriend came and said, you know what, I'm pregnant, but you're not the father. Right? You don't want a nasty surprise. See, then you need to silence demo. Why do you need to silence demo? Because you have like 10 angry guys sitting right there. And then you have to start sniping them. Bring them one by one. Not very nice. That they don't die instantly, right? More bullets. So I'm out of silence ammo. It's fine. We can take the rest of the regular ammo and make some noise. Some people have extreme difficulties, even at this range, right? You shouldn't have difficulties at this range. But you can't always kill, one shot kill everyone, right? See? That's the uh, surprise I was talking about. Bloody Germans will come for you. Plant another mine. 
Now you have a mine down there. So even if one guy goes through. See, the partisans are shooting at something. That something is the Germans. You have to kill the Germans. Right? So that's the German right there. Now you have to move up at some point. You can't really see what's going on through those trees. But that was two. So kind of stops. The staff is at there. There's someone over here to our left. Can't really see anymore. So why don't we move a bit further up to see what's what? But you don't want to do that rush in here because there's like 10 15 soldiers in here and they stop shooting so when the partisans stop shooting then the germans are there you can throw a grenade at the that's where you have to go And so there's one soldier over here to the left that you have to kind of be careful of. There's usually a German soldier down there. But not today. Then you go inside. There's a key. You pick it up. Look at this. That's the key to the um, graveyard. You can also use a satchel charge to get in there. Right. You can place a satchel charge on the wall right there from the outside. An ideal like place that. to use Sophia's gift. Yeah. Just move away, it will blow up. And if you stand too close, you will blow up and die. That would be pretty stupid. Right. Boom. See, and there's uh, mines and whatnot in here, and health. I don't really need no uh, health, but there's mines and health in there. So that was the optional thing. You don't think you have to go to Sophia and the castle. And since the partisans aren't shooting at, a at anything, then the Germans are dead, right? You can actually... Um, this loudspeaker, you can actually sh uh, shoot at that and make it stop speaking. So you know there's no more Germans down here because the, the partisans stopped shooting. That was pretty fast. And then you go up here to the castle. You can also enter the castle from the other side. Well, I showed you, you can, that you can go up, up where the, the truck blew up. So you place the satchel charge, you can either tap it, or pull it, or you can shoot it directly. Right? So just press X and move forward. And you can search all these guys, which is really no point, because the game ends right here. So that's episode two. Be um, there's a cutscene right there. That's uh, episode two. The, you can also take all these challenges. Uh, some of them are fun. But... So that's, uh, that's, that's what, what. And so the next mission is the Regilino Viaduct. See, I, it wasn't that difficult for me to stay alive through an uh, entire episode. Yeah, I got hit a couple of times. You do, right? No big deal. Authentic plus, right? So should I... 
Should I continue? Should I continue? Should I stream another episode? I really don't care. I, I think I would rather go have a run and exercise a bit, but because the weather's lovely outside. But since I'm going, let's. So the setup you need for um, the viaduct with the the gun train is basically the same as the other ones. I can't remember if you get um, more silenced ammo at in the beginning. Can't really remember that, but let's fuck. This is pretty good setup right here. Now I've heard someone said that you can actually hit um, a really long shot in the beginning. So let's let's see if we we can do that. I haven't tried it. You talk to that woman. You talk to this guy. They tell you a lot of stuff that you need to do. Actually, I don't tell you what to do. Um, so you pick up all of this ammo. If you have a bad gun, then you can change your gun or bad, um, bad rifle. You can change the rifle. You listen to what the... Um, the radio woman says there's something with the um, with the plane we get to in a bit. To start the mission. Okay. Need to get to the railway gun. You can actually see the the railway gun. Way down there. Five fifty. That's a long way. There's a sniper. Should I try it? I haven't done this before. Did the snipers looking at us? To disguise my rifle fire. Can we get a? Can we go to the ground right here? And fire. Five fifty. That is small. Wow, that's a lot of wind. I haven't shot Jaeger before. Troops. Form isn't taking any at chance. 550 so I don't know how much windage I have to adjust for. Hmm. Hmm. By 50 you probably could get closer if you just go down um, one story. Let's try this one. I have no idea if it's linear, if you have to use the more holdover. Let's try to see what's what. Is there something I can shoot at? They get awfully small down there. Unfortunately, you can't go to 600, but you can just use hold over that. It's 550, 550, that's a long way. I need something that I can see. 560. That's the fucking sniper. I will really want to kill him. Ah, a volatile box that can blow up. Sniper friend needs to go back to that box. Okay, 550. You're the one. You're the one, kid. Holy shit. Is that even close? 
I hit him. Did you see that? I hit him. I hit the banister right in front of him. 550 and I hit him. 550 and I hit him. I didn't kill him. But I hit him, right? 550 and I hit him. Holy shit, I'm good. So the holdover is basically approximately linear. So you have to uh, use twice the holdover. Right. 550. Boom. Boom. You can see the impact. Boom, right in front of him. Boom, right to the right of him. Boom. Now, I'm wasting all of my ammo that I need later for this stupid shot. But I hit him. You saw that. I hit him. So I can hit someone at 550 meters. Myself. That's the sniper. He's not freaking out. Should I hit the sniper? Should I kill the sniper from here? Just to assert my dominance as a sniper. Whoa, that was left. Now, you need to die, sniper guy. Whoa, that was right in, right in front of him. I can't see where I'm hitting, I can't see what I'm shooting at. That's insane. And I'm wasting all of my ammo. I have only 18 shots left. I need that ammo for later. But I hit him. 550 and I hit him. You try doing that. Now I'm getting greedy because I really would actually like to prove that I can hit someone. Okay. Could I hit the box instead? The sniper is there. The box that can blow up is there. What is the holdover? See, the wind is crazy. It's 1.5. Like, seriously? Then the wind jumps from a quarter to 1.5 almost. Thank you, Rebellion. Thank you. Let's kill our guy. Shot. Sure. Did you see I hit him? You saw the blood spurting out of him. That was 560. I hit another guy at 560. Boom, right in front of him. So I've hit two guys now at 550. Haven't killed one, but I've hit them. Right. Sniper guy. I'm almost out of ammo. I'm I'm not wasting more ammo on this. This is getting stupid because I can hit him from 300. Like I don't need this shit. Right. Oh, that was right in front of him. Holy shit, that was right in front of his head. Okay, but I've established the fact that I can hit someone at 550. 
Okay. Even if you can't see anything in this group, I can hit you. Watch out. I need this ammo for later, so I think I've proven my point. I hit two guys at 550. Place a mine here. And then you go down and enter the minefield. And then you go down and into the minefield. And you have to have to be a little bit careful down here, right? Because there's a mine in a minefield. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm sorry you just missed it, but I just hit two guys at 550 in the most crazy amount of side wind. It was one point, almost 1.5 on the wind gauge. And I hit the guy at 550. You could see Check. blood spurting out. He jumped sideways. 550. And I'm not like running around like crazy trying to snipe all of, th all of these guys. I have to do it myself. This is authentic plus there's no aim there's no aim assist no nothing just have to concentrate because it's start lacking with this stupid mine they will kill you if you get too close place a mine here place a mine here You go down, wash your balls in the river for the stream. Go over to the other uh, minefield. There's a minefield up here. If you're not good at um, taking out mines, then you shouldn't go into these minefields. Because these mines will kill you if you trip them. Right? So you simply just inch up to this mine, take out your gun, your pistol, sorry, and then inch up to the mine. I don't know why it won't... Um Yeah, people lose interest pretty quick when you're not just uh, playing on casual. Playing against noob and then boom, 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 boom. And then they are world champions. You know, I can hit that shot, I have hit that shot. I'm 550 myself, I'd be pure sniper man. I hit that shot like 10 times, it's really easy. Yeah, really easy. I, I can't I can't figure out why you couldn't hit him uh, at 550. Yeah, in crazy sight me. I really could that. Uh, I really can't figure it out. Uh, now there's a spotter somewhere. I need to find him and kill him. He's trouble. The 
it's like uh, one said um, <laughs> a friend I have uh, his mother he got a new girlfriend and It wasn't actually girlfriends at the time, girl or boyfriends at the time. But he was very interested in, in her. And then he actually said, um, then the father said, uh, so what's her name? And then the mother said, uh, oh, her name is Trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that, that's, that's pretty true. Her, na just her name is Trouble. See, I'm out of ammo almost. Because I had to try to hit that stupid shot. But, never mind. I just need that ammo for later, so never mind. I, 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 I yeah, I, that was really, um... But... Never mind, there's ammo over here, so... Now we have a backstop, if they come running like crazy, and they will. So let's create more backstop. Let's go silent. With the silent ammo and the pistol. But we have silent ammo in Did you just see me fall down the rock? Can I edit that out? <laughs> Did you just see me fall down a rock? Please say you don't you, you didn't see me fall down a rock. Please. I'm just nit nitpicking, but really wish that they all would go over to that, and that I place the mine like two feet closer. See, now they all come running, pretty much everyone. Right. So let's go live. Where did the officer go? Where did the officer go? Okay. Your job was to keep an eye on the officer. Where did the officer go? Okay, the officer's over there. Okay, why didn't you keep an eye on the officer? That was your job. I specifically told you Keep an eye on the officer, right? Okay. Okay. I thought we could just have a nice, calm, relaxing sniper king without you come running right? That's not nice. Right? So. Why did he need, why did he survive that? Okay. 
That's why you place a mine right there. Because those sneaky bastards will come running up. See, he now took my mine. That's my defense. It wasn't very nice of him. You don't mess with a man's minds, you don't mess with his girlfriend, right? I <laughs> only have nine shots left. It's not really optimal, right? So I have three trip mines. None of them are valuable, but never mind. So I have three trip mines to go play with. I can only carry three, so. But there's one more there, there's one behind, that's the backstop, and then there's the three over in the minefield to check anything that comes. Um, Unwants it, right? That was a guy, killed a guy in here, right? I think. Or was it down here? It was down here. Let's see if he's got some ammo and juicy bits. No more to find here. Okay, so the plane is down there. That's Jaeger troops, that's the, their car. There's a plane down there and there's a handful of guys down there. It's one of our recon planes. That's the recon the plane. Prototype. The Nazis can't be allowed to analyze okay. that wreckage. Gotta destroy so, it. So sound mask this. That creates somewhat of a um, Backstop. And then you have to ensure that you're not getting rotted if all of these guys you can see down there from the church come running up. Right? You have something that says welcome. Nothing says welcome like a trip mine, right? So. There's um, this ammo over here. If you need uh, more silenced ammo, I don't need silenced ammo right now. I have 15. So I only have 19. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Pick up this guy. Pick up this guy. Officer, he's got TNT that's valuable. Okay, so how do you spice up your minds and how do you make them pay? How do you make them earn as much as possible? Right? Well, it's like stock options, you, you make them make them multiply. You do ban that by throwing TNT at the side. And that makes um, it twice as powerful. So 
they might run into something and you can make it uh, blow late delay it's called and it will blow later All right and then you spice it up by using um, by using that TNT like the ACDC song right, TNT so that's what you do then you move your defense up defense makes champions right and so if these guys over here like get really pissed what he has rifle ammo this piece nothing else so if these guys over here there's there's not a, a whole lot of them but if they do get pissed off and decide to charge you you have a defense because trust me they will come charge you at the moment you need it the least really don't need it then they will come barging you right? you don't need that now there's another mine over there but I don't need it right now all I need right now is to go up here with my silent stamina find some of these guys kill them I need to change the silence demo if I want to shoot the silence demo. Right? That should be obvious. <laughs> okay, there's some guys there. 120, 30 meters. Not a problem. Later on, you will see me hit at 300, 300 plus, taking out the snipers and whatnot. Right now, let, let's focus on the task at hand. And the task at hand is to clear that wreckage. That's uh, the wreckage over there. Crashed plane that you have to deal with. It's one of the optional thing, right? Find the pilot, destroy the plane, right? So. Hundred and thirty five. Hundred and thirty five. Usually there's someone here at the sides, but should we go live? Should we go live? Did you see the wind jump? That was crazy. That was crazy. Why does the wind jump like that? That was not nice that Mr. Mr. Game does that. Let's try to scare them. And make them jump a bit. Okay? Now they are on edge. That's what I want. Live one turn. Live one turn. It's German. It means stay down. Stay down. That's the first uh, customer. Quite a lot of sand winds today. And I'm using this new uh, reticle on the scope and it's kind of fucking with me. All of those lines are confusing. And I was asked to explain what they do, so I did it. And I thought it could be helpful, and it is somewhat helpful. 
if you can't judge, you know, where 50 meters is on your scope, then maybe you should find another game. So it's pretty difficult to one shot kill them in this side win because the the whatchamacallit, the the um, the windage is even greater. It's like 1.5 um, when you're using silence ammo. It's not it's not very linear. Drops up very fast, so kind of hard to use. It's a guy of a. In the bush, hack in a bush. That's Marx Brothers. One ten, it's not really impressive. For me, it's not impressive. But There's more guys down there than the handful I've killed right now. There's like seven or eight of them. Maybe more. Some guys in the back. Yeah, so it's not really that impressive long-range sniping right now. But that will come later. It's like the first date with a girl. The... The, um... The first date is, is really not to impress a winner over. The first date is not, it's not to fuck up, it's not to die, it's not to lose this chance of a second date. Right? You have to act like normal. You have to be uh, cool and calm and whatnot. Right? That's the point of, of playing this campaign. You have to see it as a constant uh, first date. <laughs> right? You're tra trying to finish uh, the game as fast as possible. Oh, great. And finish the game as, as fast as possible on cash or whatever, right? I think that's boring. That's not. It's not challenging for me. I'm at a point in my life where I need challenges, right? I don't. I don't. I don't need. I don't need things to be easy and simple. I need things to be as hard as possible. I need things to be as challenging for me as possible. And you reach that point as a man when you start having your own company and you start having to deal with the customers and clients and employees and whatnot and you set yourself new goals and new challenges you constantly move your goalposts forward right if you're not challenging yourself you're going backwards there's no point in playing on casual in any way in any game at all right you don't need that as a man, right? You have to go out and you have to dominate. 
and you have to prove your ability, right? So you do that by not playing on casual. You need to play against noobs on casual while the game is aiming for you. No, no, you aim. You play against the best players that you can find. And then you absolutely dominate them. From long range sniping, 300 meters, pure sniping, side wing, head glitching, the works. Movement, the works, right? So you can probably see better sniping from someone else. But I just proved that I'd hit a guy from 550 up at the start. 550 meters twice in a crazy side one. It was just as crazy as this one. It was 1.5. And I hit two guys at 550. Boom. I didn't kill them. But I hit them. You could see them getting hit and the blood was just gushing out of them, right? So why am I only... Why do I only, like, grace them with my first shot? I don't know. That's getting annoying, but that's how the scope is set up today. I play with very little um, sensitivity. Maybe I should put it down more. See if that helps. Because I have kind of hot hands today. And hot hands means that you're warmed up. You can hit something. really need to use one anymore. This is better use elsewhere. You could hear there was actually some soldiers over there. And more soldiers over yonder. Yonder is an old saying, it means over there. So I need to go up to this plane, place a charge. And then move out of the way, because it will blow up and kill you if you don't, if you're not careful. That's the wreck dealt with. That's all. So I have three uh, med kits. Um, there's a med kit up here if you need it. And then there's some. Um, there's some ammo, there's some pistol ammo and whatnot, and I really need that pistol ammo. I don't really need it right now because, you know, there's not anyone coming. I need it for later. Trust me. So where did all of our friends go? See, the, they, they can actually, um, when you shoot them, they can actually, more often than not, lay in these bushes and then you miss one. That's got like everything you need and want. 
Guess I grabbed everything useful. And this guy got rifle ammo, so. So if you see them, then check them out of the hack in a bush. And then... So what should we do? What should we do? Should we take a vote? What should we do? Right now, it really hasn't been that difficult, right? Most people in this would be impossible, but it's not to me. Wonder where this tunnel leads. Should we go up and kill the sniper? You go up through this tunnel. Really wish I had a a, a mine with me, but I don't. There's a sniper guy up here. Uh, that was one of the guys I hit at 550. I hit two guys up here, or rather down at the scaffolding at 550. That was pretty, um, it's pretty hardcore. See, there's a sniper. Where did the stupid sniper go? There's a mine over Jet here. North. That's the sniper guy. Did I kill the sniper? Place a mine. Yes, we should. Okay, that was the uh, that was the purpose of going up here. I was killing the sniper. So now I want to go. Really just want to clear out that um, all of the guys down at the church. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a spotter down there. The spotter is pretty annoying because he will. Uh, he will actually ruin your defense. And like they say, good defense makes champions. So. Hey, there's some juicy mines down there, but never mind. Let's go over and have some fun with the people over at the church. Remember Check. to bring your your goodies. There's a mine in here I really want. Yes, thank you very much. And there's a box, let's see what's in the box. Usually there's not much in these boxes. Can't find anything else. Yeah, there was uh, some TNT that was on. They're really skimpy with um What's in the boxes? The the harder the difficulty you get when when you're playing on normal, then you probably have like everything you ever need in that one box. So 
Gold diamond, we need health mines. We have a skilled rifleman and this trusty gun. So what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong now? See, you heard them say Vita Suppen. That means uh, search on in German, right? Go on searching. So they're pretty close. If you can hear them talk, they're pretty close. Someone blew up a mine. That's not very nice of them. If you need to blow up a mine, then you need to die, right? Is he shooting them? Now, we don't need the spotter to find us and then come and destroy all of this, all of these mines. That would kind of suck. You can hear them to our right. Holy shit. I think that was a spotter. Nope. Who the fuck is shooting me? That was a guy going into a mine. Holy shit! Died so far. What was that? What is that king? Who the fuck did that? Who wants to die? Is that him? Is that the cocksucker that shot me before? None of them are actually really valuable, so... Like I said, good defense makes champions, so... Let's go up, have a look-see. This will come in very useful. And then mine the shit out of our position again. Now I know why I couldn't hit him. You can actually change shoulders. Watch, you can change shoulders. And I'm usually playing from my right shoulder. You do that by pressing the right uh, thumbstick down. Ah. And that throws your aim off completely. See? Be a bit careful because we have pissed them off. Uh, Oops, did you see a guy? That's the spotter. I thought. That's not the spotter. 
We need the Sparta and his uh, and his flare gun. That golden. Defense makes champions, right? Establish your defense right here. So we have 50 shots. We don't need any more. We can't carry any more. S mine. Valuable. Rifle. Not bad. This will come in very useful. You can hear them up to our right. Stick grenade. See, that's the fucking spotter. That's the cocksucking spotter, and he just ruined my mind. Shit. See, if, if you were to stand there, you would have a pretty good bad day, right? But our little cocksucker, he has to pay for that. He has to pay for those mines. That's the spotter. That's his girlfriend. That's the next one. Now you have to pay for that spotter. I don't take that lightly. How the fuck did he hit me? Now you can just storm around and shoot and storm around and shoot and whatnot. But not today. See, you can also throw a rock, they will turn around and simply kill them. Apparently rocks are really dangerous. That was kind of naughty of me, right? But I actually just did that to show you that it, that it's possible. You can just throw a rock, they will stop, turn around, and, and face the um, face the point. Where you um, threw the rocket. Right. And the guy's coming, running down the hill. You can throw a rock behind him. He will stop, look at where the rock landed, and you can just, when he turns around, you can simply kill him. 
it's not too difficult. Let's go up here and see this, if there's more down by the church. Usually are. That's the church. It's the same map setup they use uh, in multiplayer on Nightwatch. Pretty much this exact map. He says, um, I couldn't hide in German, so that's true. Can't hide because. I have my Russian boom boom gun with me. And that makes a lot of noise. See, when he goes over and tries to pick off his friend, you wait. You wait until he's through uh, doing whatever movement uh, he's, he needs to do. The um, animation is kind of bat and he jumps around and he, even though you shoot him in the middle of the animation then you actually don't kill him right so um, that kind of sucks so should I go show you some 300 meter shots. Hmm. Actually, find it easier to hit people at 150 or 200 than I do at 100. See? Shot him in the back. The closer, the closer they get, the harder it is for me to hit them. And that's not even, I'm not even shitting you. That's actually true. Yeah, so... I think I've cleaned out most of the, um... Of the gunk, so to speak. Over here. How much Guess I ammo do they have? Do they have any goodies? No. Stick grenade. Yes, please. They're really valuable later on. Yeah, those sticks. Um, tell them I'm just please. And I'm going to tell you a secret, but you always have to put it on um, the sticky thing, at right? And the reason you do that is because you can actually hit the soldiers, right? When it turns red, you can see here, when you're hitting a target, it actually turns red. If you're not hitting it, it's yellow. Now it is red. That means if that was a soldier, you can actually hit him with that and it sticks to him and he will run over to his buddies and both him and his buddies will blow up, right? So what's that? 125, that's nothing. I just need them to get into a shot where I can shoot them at. So, in a moment or two, I'm going to shoot at that. All of the people are over here. That's 300. That's nothing. I hit a guy from 550 up at the start. 550. She'll have to use the wind and it's the wind gushes and changes like crazy here. I don't know why. 
thing. The wind moves. You see the, the wind gauge on top, how it moves. One moment it's like a quarter, the next it's a half, then it's back to a quarter. Right. Can you make up your mind? So we're only missing one guy. And to the, um, the new people that came. I actually hit two guys on the bridge over there. From 550 at the start. Way down there. In the back. Way down there. 550 in this crazy side one. Sign isn't that crazy right now, but when I was shooting at them because we are lower down, it was 1.5 or something. It was crazy. From 550. And I have to hit myself. Or aim myself. guy he's just going to uh, just going to die I don't want to waste more ammo or so I already killed the sniper there's usually there's a sniper up there to 60 that's not long enough oh it is long enough but since you people watching let's let's make it a challenge 300 only six times soon, so you can barely see them. Right? You can barely see them, they're walking around. You can see them in the scope, that's ten times soon. But when you get to the this, then... Okay, who thinks I can hit that guy? Who thinks I can hit anyone right here at 300? Let's see a show of hands. Now, all of these fucking lines on my scope are blocking me. Usually I, I don't use this uh, reticle. And all of these stupid lines are blocking my, my sight. So don't use this if you wanna like long range snipe You're blocking my view it's, it's annoying as hell oh I hit the railing right in front of me okay that was one guy headshot for 300 right I'm using a new reticle, this crosshairs thing you see. Usually I use the one called fine crosshairs. And to me it's better because there's not a lot of clutter in this, right? I know there's a lot of clutter the in the, the um, crash plan. This footage could be invaluable. in my sight. I really don't need that. There's a sniper up here. Ah, uh, see him? 291. 248. Let's warm up this guy, right? That is annoying. That was a hit. Those lines are annoying as fuck. 
Holy shit, they're annoying. That was a headshot. 240, and it's nothing. I'm getting annoyed at those lines. That's, um... Maybe they're good if you're shooting at very long range. Um, no, sorry, uh, other way around. Maybe they're good if you're shooting at shorter range. And you can't make a hundred and fifty shot, man. But who's that? Is that um, the guy I played with yesterday? That Ben guy, Ben Casey, is that, um, is that the, the Armored 3 guy? That's the same guy, right? He's actually a bit of a turd. Do you know that? Okay. So why would he, he start lying about me leaving? I didn't leave. I made a video of that. I had to spend time, my valuable time, making a video about how I didn't leave. See, that was a headshot. On a sniper, 300. Yeah, he's your friend. But you don't... Trust me, Panda, you don't need friends like that. He's a clown. Right? He went into my stream, that Ben Casey. I, I, I didn't realize he was that armored guy. Because his profile is called Ben Casey and then he's called Armored 3 on his... Um, that he went into my stream and start saying stupid stuff. And then you don't need friends like that. Right. Then he start saying some stupid stuff about homosexual sex. Like, you don't need friends like that. He actually said that he would fuck me. He said, fuck you. And since I'm a man, he wanted to have sex with me. That's uh, pretty weird. That's the first thing that came out of his mind. Fuck you. me that's weird so we hit the sniper never mind you're probably a nice guy just don't need friends like that right? you need someone that can hit a headshot at 300 and panda in this stream if you watch you can actually see the first shot I take is at 550 meters in this crazy side wind that was 1.5 sidewind. You can see it in the stream in the stop. 1.5 sidewind. 550. And I hit two guys. I hit two guys 550 sidewind. Right? Now, I don't need to brag or show off, but if you can hit a guy at 550, you actually pretty much couldn't see the guys. Right? 550, it's on video. <laughs> I hit two of them. I didn't kill them, but you can see me hitting them, and there's blood spurting, and they like jump sideways. 
right? So I was asked to try this new reticle, this process thing. And at long range, it really sucks. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe I just triggered him into... Uh, like... Into... To acting like that, you know. Because he, he, he probably wants to be really good at sniping. And then when he... Kind of not. Right, then... Dude, that's not very nice. Right? Guy was not being nice. He's probably a nice guy, so... Never mind. Never mind. Let's uh, let's let's put that back and let's behind us, right? So I killed that guy at 250. I killed the sniper at 300. He's up there, somewhere. Where did the sniper go? Well, well he's up there, 300. It's on video. That's really not a problem. Headshot. I'd like to kill more than just. Because I can. Oh, buddy, that is going to hurt in the morning. So I'm I'm kind of bored of this position. I think I've grabbed all I can. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just to clarify, I haven't died yet. Huh. I haven't died yet. I also played um, the other I also played the episode two, right? I didn't die. It's on video. Let's see what's what. There's more guys over here, and there's a spot on. There's also an, an armored car over there. So, all right. There's an armored car coming right there. You could defeat that armored car, or defeat the people in the armored car, by throwing a hand grenade now. Into them. Right. Then you piss off the um then you piss off the um that armored car and it will shoot and right. just have to go over there and create a backstop. They will come running up here. That's the spot on. 
And it's actually really important to kill him. Why didn't my uh, chili strike go off? I was pretty thick. Why the fuck didn't that go off? I just wasted. Uh, fuck. Why didn't that go off? Spot again. It's a spot again, and he, he, you, you, um, that's why you don't want to sit on your mines. You never want to be, um, to mine the, the spot, the actual spot where you are. Because if, if the spotter spots you, so to speak, right? then he will take out your mines, even if you move. And now you have lost your, your defense, right? Defense makes champions. Fetch up. I know this is not impressive sniping, and I'm not playing on casual, and I'm not just absolutely, you know, railroading them. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to play the game. And actually show you, that's the spot on, that's my, that's the guy. And he's usually the second to last guy that comes out. Usually the spotter comes out and then the last guys that comes out are the, um, what you call them, the Jaegers. Alright.
since I've created a backstop with some mines and I cleared all of the people down at the church. I'm not really that worried about getting ambushed from the back. Right? What else can I show you? Do you wanna... This is not good, Can't sitting right in front of the armored car, like that. That was, um... You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't show people something like that, huh? That armor cars is bad news. You you can't really deal with it until um, you actually go up and destroy it. You don't want it pointing at you, killing you, doing anything. It can shoot. It can shoot through that window. Killed the driver and now it's pointing to Waters. It doesn't open um, the, the gunner's uh, slot, doesn't open until you actually kill the driver. Gunner. See? Driver destroyed. Gunner destroyed. Okay. Now it's uh, now it's harmless. You can just leave it there. Let's go and deal with the uh, our friends on on the scaffolding and on the bridge. So we need to clear this general area, right? It's it's not really that far, hundred meters. Why am I hitting the pole twice? I was hitting that scaffolding pole right right in front of his face. You can see the people I hit down there, that was from 300. There'll be more over there. I will hit later on from 300 as well. Right now I'm just going to focus on this um, clearing this sh section of the bridge. Whoa! Can you see the side one jump? It's like crazy.
Gotcha. You also heard a guy from our right, right? Now the people you hear are usually not the people that will cause you trouble. It's another headshot. The people you don't hear that will kill you. And apparently, Germans are like mice. If there's one, there's more. So I think that's most of them. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. It was cheap shot. But it worked. I shot the, um, the barrel that can blow up instead of shooting him. I know that was cheeky and not nice and... Not sniper leader! But... I don't care. I have no to go um, get some of the mines back that I've placed over here because I need them moving forward. Right. I have like 200 of these. Uh, Trip mines spread around the the map right now. So we have one over here that's not being used, I think. Or did we bring that along? Yes, we found the video. Well, this one is definitely not in use. So this is just a, a transport section back to the um, back to the bridge with the gun on it. So I killed all these people on the bridge and the scaffolding. I think most of them, anyway. And so the point is. Let's have a look this guy right now. She says he's coming. So. We are now sort of created a killing field out there, right?
That's the point of this. Place a mine. So if anyone like comes over and that makes you ready. Unfortunately, you can't place a mine across these train tracks. Okay. Now, I have died once um, in this game, one time, by trying to place a mine, and a guy missed me and hit that uh, stupid crate that can blow up. And I killed the driver and the gunner in, his, uh, in that car. You can actually shoot them. You can shoot them from a hundred meters away. People don't think you can. But I can. I've hit in, hit in through the sniper. Um, that, sni that slot. There's a s very small slot where the gunner sits. Actually hit in through that from 200 meters away. That was impressive. But you have to go up and kill the, um, the driver first. It's no dice if you... Uh, what the fuck is that? So let's go and snipe some more here. Some people over there. That truck's carrying ammo. Have to stop it. 250. What the fuck? Nice work, if I say so myself. Okay. So it's only 200. It's not like I'm getting a medal for this. But And I'm not playing on casual, right? <laughs> I'm not playing on casual. No, you won't. You won't know. I won't. I'm not playing on casual. Cheeky little bastard. Let's see, there's three hundred up to those. Um, three ten, yes, up to that uh, camp over there. Oh, that's the value of putting out a mine. Apparently he didn't watch my video on putting out mines. Apparently the Germans don't have that. They would have had uh, if they had YouTube back in World War Two. Then <laughs> probably would have ended differently. I said it is possible to snipe and it is also possible not to die even if you're just one man so 
faster check it's somewhat slow and steady. I can do it much faster. I can just storm around. But less for the sake of uh, the demonstration. Right. Show that it, it's actually possible to aim. Possible to snipe. Possible to treat this as a sniper game. That's why it's called Sniper Elite. Usually I clear most of these guys out over here. There's a camp over there. 300. See that guy moving. I have no problem hitting him at 300. There. Yes, I just need a clear shot. Right? Just need a clear shot. Give Pam's a clear shot. He's dead. He's not dead. He was hit. Now he's dead, right? That was a headshot. 300 on a moving target, right? You, you all saw that. 300 on a moving target. No aim assist, no nothing. That was me. Boom. And I'm not using mouse and keyboard. That was me. 300 on a moving target. Headshot. No aim assist, no nothing. See, now he's coming over here. That's great. Come over here, boy. I have to wait till he clears this um, strain. There he is. The Same. It's kind of easy for me now. That might be an impossible shot for you, but. Not the Panzer. Right. 300, a moving target, six times zoom, no problem. Okay? That was a headshot. That guy over there. Is that me? He's not dead, he's just um, wounded. But I don't need to waste more time and ammo on him. He will just die. Okay, so we lack... When you hear the boom boom boom, that clicking noise, then they're dead. That's the armored car. Bad news. You just go yes. over and place uh, some of these, uh, sorry, some of these mines, these teller mines, and a TNT. One teller mine and one TNT will bring down the, that uh, armored car. See, the thing about this bridge is that there's so much shit on it. Like all of this shit that can blow up. That it's actually pretty dangerous being out here. Because if they shoot at you and miss you, they will hit that stupid crate and it will blow up. So one thing you can do 
Actually, you just blow it up yourself. Right? So, I was, um, I was down there earlier. Over yonder. And took care of the people down at the bridge. There's some scaffolding and whatnot down here, right? That's the main thing over there. Yes, you can do it a lot faster, and yes, you can run around like crazy, and yes, you can hide in a bush all game, right? That's not what this is about. It's about sniping and finishing this it's time to move this game I, I I snipe at that thing later right you can shoot it out with um, with your rifle so like skidoosh back be careful of all of this shit that can blow up. Then you sort of go up here and always just have a look to see if someone like ten guys showed up. I would Can't make for kind else. of a bad day. If you like, woke up ten guys and then so you have to be careful, very careful when going out here because there's stuff that can blow up all over the place. Do I need anything? Some mines, maybe. Well, that's kind of a killing field, right? So it was the armored car we came from, right? It's, um, it drives around. It's annoying. Car's actually not that dangerous, it's just annoying as fuck. Like a total pain in the car. I think that should do it. See, it's one of the guys we killed. Seems Weaver's informant was right. That must be the main ammo source. Better deal with it.
time to move. One last threat to the <laughs> I knew that was happening. That was the armored car that blew up. Nice work, if I say so myself. What the fuck? Oh well. <clears throat> No problem. So there's all of this stuff you can blow up. Okay. So all of these cars you can have your dirty way with. You also hear a German guy. He's right there. He said in German that. He must not see us. I couldn't see him. Behind a rock. And then you can hear that sound that goes off like whoosh, so, as if like pressure goes off. That's the sound you hear when there's no more threats in the area, like immediate. So there's a lot of um, a lot of goodies out here. All of this there's hand grenades, health, all kind of stuff. There's a box you can search. Nothing else. Okay. Let's go have a look see. Whilst what? up by the guy where I killed him he was running down last guy running down pet shot 300 up from the uh, the other place so you can move up you have destroyed the armored car now so there's not not much difficulty. You're coming up to a like a um, transport depot. You need to destroy this transport depot. And the key is just to shoot out the gas tanks. But you need to get all of the uh, all of the soldiers down there. Boom. So take some rocks and throw them. So they go over to the That guard, he heard the rock. And uh, 
Now the fun will start. Transport. And the will start killing them one by one. You can shoot the trucks that they are next to. It's pretty weird when the um, animations are on. You actually can't kill them. I don't know why. Like when he's animated to do something. Like you can't kill him. I don't know why that is. But I actually can't see him. I'm just shooting at his general area. So our problem now is that we pissed off the entire map, entire rest of the map. And sometimes they will come streaming up here. Like I said, you have now pissed off the entire rest of the map. Alright. That's the spotter, he's the bad guy. When you have shot your machine gun, just reload. Never mind you lose some, um, some ammo. Just reload. There's plenty of ammo. Right? You lose a lot of ammo, but you don't want to like pull out your your gun because you're in uh, last minute trouble right and then find out there's only two shots right, so so you want to have all 20 shots if you use this fnap gun Every time you go into battle, this you have 20 shots ready. If you use like more, there's some guns that have like six or seven. Um, that should make life easier for the resistance. That's a spot on. We need his, um, we need his flare gun later, but I already have one, so. I'm going to use that flare gun for this uh, checkpoint down there. Care of. So we do it like this. Hold it down. Then it will land. And now you can hear the uh, the guns going off. And now they will um, have a taste of their own medicine, right? No more to find here. So, oh, I have another one of these. Um, they're actually quite powerful and uh, useful sometimes. Problem is that you really piss them off.
kill. See, then you flank them. Just kill them. If you can hit them. I can't hit anything right now. Create a backstop. Guy ran over to our right. Let's up here and can't find me, I can find him. It was nice of me. I think I've grabbed all I can. That actually wasn't very nice of me. That was uh, not warm and welcoming. Right? Like Angela Merkel says in Germany. Have to be warm and welcoming to a million refugees a year. Right? That'll make things tougher for the Nazis. So she single handedly. Probably responsible for, for creating another one that can make a world war. Right. These uh, these figureheads they come out of great crisis, and the last. German figurehead that came out of the crisis in the 20s, right? Panther term. Nasty. Yeah, so I destroyed the Panther term uh, the tower, which is basically a stationary tank. I destroyed that with the um, with the flare gun. Then he says, Stay down! Stay down! Okay. Then I will use the time. Uh, you're down to just throw a rock and they will um, get fixated up upon that rock uh, and go to that point. Hello, second. Hello. See, usually you don't just run up to the um, the Panzer Tower, then it will kill you. It's actually pretty uh, pretty cool uh, little gadget. Uh, but when you usually see it, it turns around and it shoots at you if it notices you. This is the gunner sight. It opens on the right side. You can shoot through that if you're good enough but you need that uh, slit to open but uh, I use the flare gun and you don't need to do what I just did like right now I'm just showing you need to deal that with you that can just destroy it like that It's 
always a good idea to create a um, what you might call it a, um, a distraction. Yeah, distraction. That's the, it's like having um, a golf thing. Right. If you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, then it's 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 good to create a distraction. All right, boys. So if you are drinking and partying, then you have to create a distraction. Or she will come after. Have you played Maybe this game, uh, psychopath? 1973 Okay, should I use the flare gun or just snipe them? I haven't really done much sniping um, for a long time, so Let's see what's what a oh. hundred meters isn't really sniping, it's just uh but I hit and that's on video. I hit the guys at 550 in the um, in in the start 550 in crazy sideman right that was uh, that was pretty good I have to say so much this is like a really bad game of whack-a-mole. You know that fairground game, Whack-A-Mole, where you have to clunk them in the heads as they come up. That's Whack-A-Mole. You can also use the um, flare gun like that. Strike them like that. You can see it turns uh, and then just all hell is just raining down on them. There's anyone left, right? They're going to freak out. See that running chap? Now usually you have to pick up your minds and you know but I really don't care for it because the game is pretty much over. I just have to go over and I've, I've killed all of them down there so there's not a lot of guys left. I'm pretty sure there's only one or two on the, the entire map left alive. So, the last thing you have to do, if you haven't already planted the uh, the satchel charge on the railway gun and the scaffolding below, is to go up and either place it, blow it up, or find a way to actually place it and blow it up. Since I already placed it, I just need to blow it up. And there are several ways you can do that. You can place some TNT, shoot the TNT. You can place some mines and shoot the mines. You can snipe directly at the thing, right? Or you can do, yeah, you can do it a number of uh, ways. You can also use the flare gun and blow it up. You can you can pull the charge. That's like a root cord you can pull. Right? This thing is right there. Uh, 
hundred and ten meters or something. Covered by that fucking rock. It's it's inset in there. You can just see it right there. Right there. And when you hit the charge, the um, the railway gun. Close up. So, in order to finish this, you actually just have to shoot that gun. So, so that's that's it. That's now three episodes without dying, without really getting shot at, without really being in trouble. It's not that difficult. Now the next one is that dog yards, and I don't know if I have the the sack for for playing all through that because I just finished two and I'm kind of bored right now, and I really would like to go outside and uh, take a run get some food so thank you for watching and um, have a nice day